this is how the Blink LED code looks like in the Arduino software. We have two functions, we have the loop function and we have the setup function. A function is defined by the name first, then curly brackets to embrace the code and with the code within the curly brackets. The Arduino expects two functions to be present in the code. This is the setup function and the loop function. The setup function is executed when the Arduino starts. Uh, all the lines of code within this method will be executed once after the Arduino has started. Then when setup is finished executing, the loop function will start executing. And each line in the loop function will execute. And when, when the Arduino hits the end of all the lines, it will start over again on the top. And it will, will continue to loop until the power is turned off. Let's go through this code and see how it works. On the top we have a variable called LED pin and it is assigned to the number 13. The LED on the board is connected to pin 13. That is why we assign this variable to number 13. And behind here we can see a comment. A comment starts with two backslash characters, then you can write whatever you want behind and it will and the Arduino will ignore whatever is behind the two comment characters. So when the Arduino starts up, the setup function is called. Inside the setup function we have a function called pin mode. It takes two arguments. The first one is which pin to control, and the second one is either input or output. We use pin mode to set the LED pin to an output. All right. So when the setup is finished, Arduino will start executing in the loop function. Here we have a digital write command. This command can uh, put uh, an output pin either in a high or a low state. So we see here we we use the digital write command to put LED pin in a high state, which will turn the LED on. Then we have a function called delay. The delay function takes an argument of number of milliseconds and then delays executing for that amount of time. So when we write delay thousand, it will wait for one second before doing anything else. Then we have a digital write again. LED pin is turned low, which will put the LED off. Then we have another delay command, which will wait for one second. So what this gives us is that when the Arduino starts it will set the LED pin to an output then it will turn the LED pin uh, high which will put the LED on. It waits for one second then turns the LED off with this command and then waits for another second and then it will repeat itself because it's in the loop. So we'll start over, put the LED on wait for one second, put the LED off, wait for one second and on and on and on until you turn off the power. 